Hello viewers, welcome to linuxhelp.com. Today we're going to see how to set up a name based virtual host on Linux Mint 18.3. Virtual hosting is a method for hosting multiple domain names on a single server. There are two types of virtual hosting. One is name based virtual hosting and another is IP based virtual hosting. With the name based virtual hosting, you can host multiple websites on a single machine with a single IP address. Here we're going to host two websites, namely virtual host 1 and virtual host 2 on a single IP on the Apache web server. So and this concept is applicable to all the Linux distributions. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is update our system and you can do that by using apt get update command. And the system is up to date now. And then let's proceed with installing Apache web server. And let's quickly check the status of the Apache service. So if you see here, Apache is up and running now and also you can verify that by going to the browser. Just go and enter your system IP address. So if you see this Apache default page, Apache is successfully installed on your machine. The next step will be creating a virtual host directories. First you need to make a directory structure that will hold the website data and that will be serving to our clients. So I am creating it straight under the Apache root directory. And here I am going to give www.virtualhostone.com and then virtualhost2.com Now two directories has been created under the Apache root directory. Now we need to create an index.html file for both the websites and this will be served by Apache web server. So we have to create an index.html file under virtualhost1 and also virtualhost2.com. So here I'm going to add a little bit content that will display a content called welcome to virtualhost1.com. This is just a little HTML code. So just save and quit the file. Now after that we have to create a similar file under virtualhost2.com. Now two files has been created under two virtual host. The next step will be setting up the ownership and permission. By default, Apache service runs as www.data user in Ubuntu based Linux distributions. And both the virtual directories that we created earlier are, are owned by root user. So we must change the ownership of these two virtual directories to www-data so that the Apache can read and write the data. To do this, run the following command. Now do the same with virtualhost2.com and then you also need to make Apache web root directory would readable so that everyone can read files from the directory. That's it, the configuration is over and then the next step will be creating a virtual host files. By default Apache comes with the default virtual host file called triple zero hyphen default dot conf and we need to disable this virtual host file first.
now it will be completely disabled after we st restart the Apache service and then we have to create a virtual host file that is corner file for the virtual host 1 and virtual host 2 and here in this file just add this following contents the server admin and the server name and also the document too after doing this just save and quit the file now similarly you have to create a virtual host file for virtualhost2.com and then here you have to change your server name to virtualhost2 and also document root to virtualhost2.com just save and quit the file so after making this necessary changes just save and quit the file here and then you have to create a virtual host files but before that we need to enable a new virtual host and you can do that by running the following command so after doing everything this we need to restart the Apache service Now the service has been restarted and the next step will be testing our virtual host but before that we have to make an entry at uh, host file Here you have to add your IP address along with the host name And if you see here, we are using the same IP for both the virtual hosts. So after doing this, save and quit the file. Now open your web browser and then access the virtualhost1.com now. So if you see here, it shows welcome to virtualhost1.com and then if you go and check out virtualhost2 So when we access the virtualhost2.com, it shows virtualhost2.com website So in this tutorial, we have seen how to set up a name based virtual host and in the upcoming video, we will show you how to set up a IP based virtual host I hope this tutorial helps you. Thank you for watching If you like it, please subscribe to our channel and also to watch more tutorials visit www.linuxhelp.com mail us to support.linuxhelp.com for any queries